They're on the front lines of our communities responding to disasters, but often firefighters' health is compromised and it all goes under the radar. It's nothing less than a scourge. It is uh, taking its toll. Cancer is killing more firefighters than actual fires. It's a crisis Channel 9 has been investigating for a year. The CDC reports firefighters are 14 times more likely to die from cancer than the average person. Anchor Brittany Johnson learned about the new push happening now in North Carolina to protect firefighters. So that, you know, from a research perspective, it only takes a few minutes for these firefighters to fill out this survey that we're actually going to go through line by line and get your feedback. But their simple responses could save lives. You really need your expertise, their own. You all are at a really elevated risk for cancer because of what you do. Our cameras were allowed inside this focus group. It's one of seven to across to the state to being to conducted by researchers from Levine Cancer Institute. It's important across the spectrum. They're trying to pinpoint why so many firefighters are getting cancer. We're taking a bullet that doesn't show up for years, and it takes years for that bullet to do its damage. Gary McCormick told me when he was diagnosed with melanoma in 1997, it didn't occur to him it might have been caused by his job. Our mind is on life safety. We're there to rescue somebody that's having the worst day of their life. Now, leaders are racing to uncover what's putting firefighters at risk and to add more support for those who get sick. In a nine investigation, we told you Charlotte Fire implemented new practices to protect firefighters from toxins covering their gear. The department created this task force after three of their own died within one year. It's nothing less than a scourge. It is uh, taking its toll. The president of the International Association of Firefighters told us it is one of the top priorities leaders discussed at their biannual conference in Charlotte. Last month, the union honored firefighters lost in the line of duty nationwide. They added 271 names to this memorial wall. 211 died from cancer. Is there enough in place right now to protect firefighters? Well, I don't want to just say no because we're, we're making great progress, but there's so much more to be done. Shapeburger believes chemicals in debris from burned homes is a big factor. They're battling chemical companies to stop using them. They're also pushing lawmakers to recognize the danger. There are now 43 states that have presumptive laws. Those assume that a firefighter's cancer diagnosis is related to the job and gives benefits to firefighters to help them. But North Carolina is one of seven states that do not. It only offers benefits for the families of firefighters who die from certain cancers. You know, someone told me once that I put myself out there, I, sac I sacrificed myself for the citizens of the city, and then they didn't feel like no one was there to have their back when this happened. But the local union is preparing to launch another effort after the midterm elections. We're going to ask the state legislators, hey, let's take care of these people. We are on the front lines. We deserve to take care of those brothers and sisters who get cancer. Be able to pull all that data together and, and they hope what they learn from this research and begin to see patterns will prevent others from getting cancer in the future. In Uptown Charlotte, Brittany Johnson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Levine Cancer Institute is planning a cancer summit for firefighters in December. For resources from the North Carolina Firefighter Cancer Alliance, look inside Brittany's report on the homepage of WSOCTV.com.